All right. So uh, one question you might have is inside the previous class we have this huge amount of white space, right? So after the first paragraph and second paragraph we have like two different lines, or if I even have like seven to eight different lines, if I save and if I go back, if I refresh it, it's just go still going to show me one line. It's not a problem with HTML or it's not a problem with your website. HTML is basically designed like that and, and, and on purpose. The reason is HTML is basically white space insensitive. What it basically means is that, you know, whatever the white space that you add in between elements or in, in between your tags, that space is entirely going to be rendered as one small line or one small space, you know, one small the space part, one small space character, right? Uh, so it doesn't matter how many lines between how many paragraphs that you add or how many lines between how many elements that you add. At the end of the day, HTML is going to ignore all that white space and it's just going to render the elements. Instead, if you want space, like we discussed in the previous lecture, we, you can always add the break tag, all right? If we add multiple break tags, HTML is going to understand that, you know, this is where the person or the developer wants this particular amount of space to be included, so I'm going to do that, all right? So that was something I quickly wanted to include because I thought a lot of you might have a question that, you know, even though we have this huge amount of spaces, HTML is not showing that. Why is that? All right, the reason is this. HTML is basically white space insensitive. Remember this word, if possible, just note it down as well. All right, so practice a, a, a couple of times with the heading tags, paragraphs, break tags, uh, whatever we learned with today. Try experimenting with a multiple heading tags. Try creating a small article for yourself, just like this one. Try to structure your article based on different types of headings and I'll see you in the next one.